Hi, I'm Jason Mears, and this is vCenter Server Add ESXi Host to Cluster, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So we're in vCenter Server, and we have uh, vCenter 30 with a data center and a cluster, but currently no ESXi hosts in it. So we're going to right click the cluster and add hosts. So we're going to use the IP address or the fully qualified domain name along with the username and password. So for a host, it's usually root. We will just accept that security alert for the uh, SHA thumbprint for the certificate. We have a little bit of a summary and then it tells us that it's going to move it and it's going to put it in maintenance mode. So if we click finish now, that host is going to be added to that cluster. You'll see it's just been added now, it's currently disconnected but it is in the process of being added. I'm going to click on it now. That has been successfully added. There is a note there that says that a reboot is required. That's not due to being added to a cluster. That was a piece of work I did on the host before I added it to a cluster. But what I'll do, I'll take it out of maintenance mode and restart it and just show you that being added back in properly uh, in a working configuration. So we'll exit maintenance mode first. We'll do the reboot and then we'll view it again back in the cluster. It'll also show us how a, a machine exits and rejoins a cluster uh, due to a normal reboot, due to maintenance or any other operation. So we'll reboot the host. We join it again as it's booting up. So it's uh, the host is just restarting. As far as the cluster's concerned, it's not responding, it's not connected yet. But very shortly, that will come back to life and rejoin the cluster. So we're back, join the cluster, and we are connected. And that host has successfully been added and he's now responding. So we haven't done anything else to it yet. We've simply just added it to the cluster. Um, further steps we could do, which we'll probably do in a subsequent video, would be configure things for vSphere High Availability, or HA, and also for vSphere DRS Distributed Resource Scheduler, but we'll do those in a different video. So that was vCenter Server, add ESXi host to cluster, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope you found that useful.